I want to talk about the need for black men to get empathy to grow and heal. Oh, man. That's the, we kind of touched on that um, earlier on. What's a safe space for you? Like, who created a safe space for you to sit down and break down and cry and say, this is too much? Where can you do that at? And I'm asking you that question. Oh, wow. Me personally, I'm in a unique, fortunate state. I know that I have really have a uh, a strong group of friends. I have like three friends where we can really uh, speak about anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm fortunate in my wife. So I'm very fortunate to have that. But I know your most, wife creates a space for you to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we definitely have a. That's where yeah, yeah. that's where all men need that. So that's the answer to that question: is if I if we are in a marriage, there should be a time when you are able to look me in my eyes and say, baby, like this is too much for me right now. And you should be able to cry if need be without me using that against you or it turning me off. Like he weak, don't cry, be a man. Men don't cry, but y'all are groomed that. Boys don't cry, shut up. You a boy, why you doing that? Why you this? Boys don't, so y'all are limited from the time that you little, don't do that, Girl, only girls do that. I'm guilty of that, of saying that stuff, you know what I'm saying? So you grow up with this place of, I'ma just have to figure it out. I can't tell anybody what I'm feeling because if boys don't do that, men definitely don't do that. I need to be a man at all times. And being a man at all times means suppressing my emotions because I got a family. You know, it's wild. I didn't know how broken men were till I became a man. So uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I have to tell me your life story on my forehead, but people just start telling me their life story, right? When they get comfortable. And a lot of men, regardless of culture, economic status, or education, they're going through the same thing. And once I learned that as an adult, I, I reflected on my childhood in regards to people's behavior. And it's like, um, and me and my friends speak about it. Bro never had an outlet. Like they don't work out. They didn't have any hobbies. They didn't, they couldn't speak to their spouse. They really didn't have a friend. So it's like, no wonder they were behaving like that because they bundling up all this frustration every day and it comes out Damn. at different times. You and know? it comes sometimes it comes out in violence. Sometimes it comes out in drinking. Sometimes it comes out in drugs. Sometimes, I mean, it could come out. Whoring. Uh, yeah, in a number of ways that it can come out. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's sad because, like I said, women have outlets where we can go ahead and express and it's welcomed. It's like, come, tell me what you feel. Tell me all of this. Not y'all, you know, and, and, and it's only so much a person can take before they snap. Right. So when y'all get mean or, or antsy or if you do have an outlet, let's say you just want to play your game. You that nigga sitting on the couch playing the game. Right. Like, never mind you went out to work, but you just want quiet time. You don't want to talk to nobody like keep the kids away from me. You just going to let me just sit here and do this. You're not even allowed to do that because it's all me, 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 me. Let me tell you about my day. This is what my boss said. That lady at the job trying to kill me. They want to take my. We just want to just lay all our stuff on you, but don't want to relieve you of your stuff. I have been guilty of that in the past as well. So I'm not speaking on something like I'm a saint. That was a learned behavior where it's like I, you got to look at your man and be like, he off. What's wrong, boo? Even if you don't sometimes he don't want you to give him an answer. He just wants you to listen and, and, and know that he's not going to be judged in that moment. Now, if you ask me what I think, then I'll tell you. Otherwise, I'm going to just sit there and listen and rub your head. Well, when did you learn that? When did it click for you? When my man told me that's what he needed. <laughs> Attitude, I ain't know. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I can do that. See, because the one thing about men is y'all say what y'all need. Y'all do. Y'all say what y'all need. It's us that'll just walk around like, and you supposed to read our mind, know why our lips is poked out, know what you did three days ago while we still mad today. You should have knew what you did. Y'all tell us what y'all need. Now, whether we listen or not, it's something totally different. Cause you do, cause y'all would be like, look, I'm tired of eating out. That mean cook. 
<laughs> right? But then it's like, well, I don't work all day. I'm not doing that, whatever. And then here you she come with some McDonald's or some Popeyes or something, and then wonder why you go into the chick house who cook for you. Y'all say what y'all need. You know what I'm saying? We just don't listen because it doesn't have anything to do with us. What's what's your thoughts on this? Um, I hear this a lot. Uh, women who work, right? They have an issue with cooking. What's that about? Like I don't know. Cause I cook when I get home from work. Yeah. And he be in there. <laughs> and I and then he be like, "What you putting together? Give me a second, and I cook." But what's that about? Is it were you exposed to it? Like, what's up with this generation and cooking? Cause I hear from a lot of brothers complaining about the cooking. Cause they don't know how to. They mothers ain't teach them. So it's a vibe where they just don't know how to cook or they don't want to cook. They don't know how to and they don't want to learn. Their mothers didn't teach them. I told you earlier on, we do not teach our daughters how to be wives. And part of being a wife and taking care of home is cooking. You know, they want to go out to eat, but you can't take them to Applebee's but, or no places like that. But they just want to go out to eat. They don't know how to cook. Big Mama is not here no more. I learned how to cook by watching my grandmother being in there breaking the, the 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 green beans cutting up the potatoes for the potato salad then she let you do a little bit more and then a little bit more and then now you make in charge of that dish i learned how to do that from that you know where's big mama's at she at the club i'm a grandmother right so the big mamas are different now right so they not in them house dresses no more doing that it's like we want to be our kids' friends. We want to be cool. We live in vicariously through our daughters because they have access to things that we didn't have access to. So now I want to manipulate her and, and make her a mini me to do all of these things. You know what I'm saying? And cooking ain't one of them because you want to snatch you up a man because you want the internet now. And go ahead and take a picture in that bikini so that NFL or NBA player can get in your DM. You want to set us up for life. Like, it's, it's a mentality. It's a whole mentality to this thing.